Okay, today I want to show you how you can do your assignment whether you're on a Chromebook or computer or an iPad. So this is Tuesday's assignment, Tuesday, September 15th, the princess and the pizza in the worksheet. And down below, uh, I'll use my computer, down below you'll see the link to ConnectEd and there's how to log in when you're in ConnectEd and there's where to go. So these are some hints for you. And your actual work is up here and that is the slide. You're gonna click on that slide and open it up. Oh look, it, there's me. And open it up and it's gonna be in a Google slide. All you have to do if you're on a Chromebook or a computer is just open up the slide. I like to make them a little bit bigger over here. So you can notice that I made the text boxes green you just double click in the text box where you want to where you want to start typing and you'll see that cursor coming up see the cursor and then you can start typing now if you're on a an iPad it's different so let's go to the iPad here it is so now I'm going to be on an iPad and I have my iPad set up with a keyboard I find it's a lot easier to have a keyboard and my iPad on the stand if I'm going to do anything where I have to click and um, type. So I'm going to go to Google Classroom and I'm going to, I'm already logged in so it takes it a minute and this is on one of the iPads that's 12.4.8. If you have iPads with 13 or greater you're just going to go in and do it just like a computer except for you're gonna to need to know how to type with it. So let me show you that. So now we're gonna go here to the assignment. So here's fourth grade language arts and on an iPad, it's down here is our classwork. So I'm gonna click on that. And here it is. Here is uh, Tuesday, September 15th, right there. So now I'm gonna go there. And on the iPad, here are the same things the, the connect ed link and the wonders little pictures, but look, they're so different. Oh, let me see if I can go back here. They're so different than over here. Over here on a computer or Chromebook, they'll show you the little picture that goes next to it. On an iPad, they don't, but it's the same thing. Then I'm going to click right there and up pops my work. I'm gonna do the princess and the pizza. So I use my finger, even though I've got my keyboard plugged in, I use my finger and I tap on it. And when I tap on it, it takes it a minute, but it's gonna open. But here is the big thing you have to take into consideration. If I just started to tap right here, nothing would happen. And that's what was happening before. It wasn't working. We were like, what is it? I found out the magical button to click. So on your screen, go all the way to the corner, the box with a little arrow in it. So watch, I'm gonna go all the way over to the corner to the box with the arrow in it. And I'm gonna click and what that does is it's opening up in Google Slides which is an app that you have to have downloaded which I think all of you have but I'll double check with you then it opens up just like it opened up over here on my computer just like it opened up over there it opens up over here it looks exactly the same whether you're on an iPad or if you're on a computer and then you want to type and so in order to type all you do is you go to a text box so let's say this one says name and I'm gonna double click on it and when I double click the text box gets a blue ring around it and you see that cursor right there so the cursor is flashing and now I can type if I have a computer keyboard plugged in it's so much easier than typing without one because if I type without it one it the thing pops up the whole keyboard pops up and it kind of covers the page so now I can type one my name is Mrs. Dot Kamak and then I'm done with that when I want to type on this next one the main characters are all I do I can even make it bigger with my fingers all I do is double click and make sure the cursor is right there, the main characters are, and then I go to my keyboard, and I can write in her name, Paulina, P-A-U-L-I-N-A, -A, and then some other names, and see how it works? So all I have to do is double click, and so tap it twice, 
and then the cursor pops up and then I can type and if you get go to the office school office and get one of these keyboards and plug it in and then keep your iPad on a stand it's almost just like having a computer okay and then when you're done it's the same thing oh there's one more thing if you want to change the font on the iPad it's over here at the top there's an A right there so tap on the A and you'll see the font comes up this one's Arial 10 point but if you want to make it smaller or lower you just click on those arrows if you want to change the color right there so it's right up at the top of up, up the bar because when I first looked at it I went oh where does it say the font and the size and everything I didn't see it but right up here that A I click and then I can pick everything out okay so I hope this helps and now that I know that we can use the iPads, there'll be more worksheets. Yay! Okay, see you in class.